Hi everybody, so I'm here for another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how you can save space on your phone or downsize if you are running out of space. And for those of us that have 16 gig iPhones, this tends to be an issue. So I'm just gonna give you a few quick tips on how you can save space. Okay, so one way to save space would be if you have apps that you don't use, get rid of them. You know, there's no need for those apps to be there if you don't even open them. You don't use it, get rid of it. Another tip is to erase all of the cache files within your apps. And the better way to do it would be to do it from iCloud because when you delete stuff through iCloud, it also gets removed from the iCloud server. So the way you could do this is you can uninstall your app because it will also delete its data. So you're not only deleting the app, but you're also deleting all of the garbage and all the junk that builds up. You're deleting all of the app's data and you're deleting the cache files. Um, you can go into YouTube, you can clear your watch history. Uh, that doesn't really help, but you know, um, you can go into Safari and clear out the history as well. You go into settings, Safari, um, delete the history, your web history. Um, you can, you know, it's better to delete the apps through iCloud. So you go into settings, general storage and iCloud usage and when you get to storage and iCloud usage it'll break it down and it'll tell you like you know how much space is available how much space you have you, you used and it'll also break it down and it'll tell you how much space each app is taking up and for me YouTube was taking up almost four gigs so I was like no that's, this is definitely a problem because people have told me it's supposed to be really small like megs not even a gig it's supposed to be like 50 something megs so I knew that was a problem <laughs> so you are uh, so what you would do is it'll tell you you know how many apps you know the amount of space each app takes up and if you go into it it will tell you how much space how much of that space is garbage or cache files so for example for me YouTube is oh well, YouTube is supposed to be like 55 megs and for me I went into YouTube and it was taking up three points the ju this just the junk alone just the junk alone the cache files all the garbage that wasn't necessary was taking up 3.7 gigs it's almost four gigs so I deleted it right from the iCloud and then I installed it and I put it back and then I I wasn't gonna, you know, put it back, but I'll talk about that because I'm going to do another thoughts on iOS 10 video, so I'll talk about that more in detail when I do that, but when I put it back, I also deleted a couple of apps that I don't use. I had five gigs available, so I have plenty of space on my phone now. Like, every time I do a video for you guys, I'm deleting it, so now I don't have to delete this. I can just upload it for you guys, and I mean, I'm going to delete it just to save space, but you know, I don't have to worry about it, you know? Another thing to do would be, for those of you that have a YouTube channel and that upload on with your phones, to sometimes the videos fail to upload. And when the videos fail to upload, you have to realize that it, it just stays there. You know, it stays in the app, it stays on the phone, and it's going to affect the phone because it's making the app bigger. Though all those videos that failed to upload. I remember um, at one point YouTube was taking up 7 gigs on my phone. 7 gigs. Yeah. So I went and I deleted all those files, all those videos that, you know, failed to upload. And I think I had like 3 or 4 gigs available, something like that. I forget. But yeah, I know it was a big amount. <laughs> a decent amount of space. So yeah. Um, so just to downsize on apps, if you have a lot of music, delete it, you know, if you, 
you know, maybe you can use Pandora to listen to music, but just, you know, delete your music. And you should also, you know, do this to all your apps, not just YouTube, but if you're using, like, Facebook has a lot of data, um, you know, and the other apps that you use have a lot of junk, just get rid of the app. Just get rid of it, you know? Get rid of it, let it delete the data, and then put it back, you know? It's not a big deal. Because all you got to do is put it back. It'll take just deleting the app, putting the app back, put it back on the phone, it'll take less than 10 minutes, you know? It's really not a big deal. And if, since you already have it installed, it'll just say download instead of install. So it might not even ask you to put in your password, which is nice. So, yeah, these are just, you know, some some tips and just some, you know, little things just to get rid of stuff, you know, just get rid of your text messages, get rid of your your voicemails, if you have a lot of voicemails that you haven't deleted, um, get rid of, you know, if you have books downloaded, get rid of those when you're done with them. Just don't have, like, too much unnecessary stuff lingering on the phone. That helps a lot as well. So, let's see. I think that's about it for you guys as far as tips on having, um, I'm making space on your phone and keeping space on your phone. So, you know, just keep an eye on the apps and, you know, as far as cleaning up the apps, you should probably try to get in the habit of doing it once every couple weeks. Um, they do have stuff in the app store that will do that. It will, you know, it'll clear out the junk, but it doesn't do a good job. Okay. And for people like me, it's not accessible. So you can download something like that, but I would recommend just uninstalling it and then putting it back because it's just a lot easier that way. Everything, it'll just delete all the data all at once and you don't even have to worry about it so yeah so I think that's about yeah that's it as far as the tips for deleting stuff off your phone if you guys have any other tips you know be um, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you guys so yeah yeah um, I hope this helps, you know, if you guys are trying to downsize your phone, it's definitely be a good time to do this video since iOS 10 is coming out soon. I don't want to say when because I don't know if I can announce that, but I do know when it's coming out, but I don't know if I can announce it because some of my friends who are beta testing it told me and out of respect for them, I don't know if I can announce it, but if you guys already know, that's great. If not, well... You're going to have to wait and see. I don't mean to disappoint any of you guys, but I would rather not announce it because this is going up on YouTube and I'd rather not. So, yeah. And I figured it would be a good time to do this video because when you update your phone, you need to downsize some on space. And a lot of you guys are probably doing that. So, I remember I when I updated, I, I think it was iOS 7, I had to downsize. So, when I had my iPhone 5, I have 6 now, but yeah. So, you know, you guys can do that. And some of you guys probably already are downsizing. So, I figured with iOS 10 coming out very soon, I would give you guys some advice on how you can downsize your phone storage. So, yeah, um, I hope this helps, and if you guys have any other questions, comments, be sure to leave them down below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Alright, bye! This is my iPad. Oh my god, okay. So, yeah.